in a top 10 matchup. Ithaca women's lacrosse lost to William Smith 13 to 14. The Bombers were down 14 to 8 early in the fourth quarter and nearly completed a miraculous comeback. Instead, they moved to fourth place in the Liberty League at 6 and 2. This continues the team's struggle against the Herons, having lost six of eight games since joining the Liberty League, including the last three Liberty League championships. Now, it wasn't pretty, but the Brooklyn Nets are in the NBA playoffs after beating the Cleveland Cavaliers in their playing game. Kyrie Irving hit his first 12 shots and finished with 34 points. The win gave them the seventh seed, so the road won't be easy. Their first test is Irving's old team, the Boston Celtics. The Nets beat the Celtics in five games last year, though a lot has changed with both teams' makeup since then. Ben Simmons might also make his Nets debut midway through the series. Alyssa Nacken has once again made history. Nacken is the first full-time female coach in MLB history and had another first on Tuesday. After regular first base coach Antoine Richardson was ejected, Nacken took over at first base, becoming the first woman to coach on the field in MLB history. She coached a game there previously in 2020 spring training, another first. This certainly won't be the last of Nacken's first as she continues to leave a mark. Speaking of leaving a mark, a physical one was made at the Minnesota Timberwolves Los Angeles Clippers play-in game after a woman tried to glue herself to the court. Yes, you heard me right. She glued her wrist to the court in protest, causing the game to stop. The reason? Timberwolves owner Glenn Taylor killing of millions of chickens with ventilation shutdown at his Iowa farm after an avian flu outbreak in order to prevent the spread. This method of killing is considered a last resort by the USDA. The protester, Alicia Santoro, came from California for the game and wore a short saying, quote, Glenn Taylor roasts animals alive, unquote. She was soon pulled off the court and the glue was scraped off so the game could resume. She was eventually allowed to leave, but given a year ban from the arena. Certainly something we may never see again. Now let's head to games to watch this weekend. Tonight at 7, it's win or go home between the Cavaliers and the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks crushed the Charlotte Hornets to eliminate them and make it to this game. The winner will face the Miami Heat in the first round. Then at 10, it's the other play-in with the Clippers hosting the New Orleans Pelicans. The Clippers lost a back-and-forth contest to the Timberwolves, while the Pelicans sent home the San Antonio Spurs. The winner gets the pleasure of facing the defending finals runner-up, the Phoenix Suns, in the first round. That's all for sports. Now, let's head back to the desk.